Hey guys, welcome back. Hi huh, y'all, another beer video, man. Other half today, again, chopped cheese, 7.5% ABV, Imperial IPA. Check out that can artwork. And as I mentioned in the unboxing of these uh, other half beers and whatnot, uh, I've never had a chopped cheese before, man. I've heard a lot about them. I've read a lot about them. Uh, it's like the equivalent to a Philly cheesesteak or like New York's um, take on, or maybe not take. I guess it's just a completely different um, sandwich, but it's like iconic, like a Philly cheesesteak. Um, eventually, I will be able to, or not be able to, eventually I will get to try or, you know, travel over there or whatnot to get a real authentic chopped cheese but for now man i'm gonna have to settle for this beer uh it was canned on 4 11 19 so today is 5 20 19 so it's just a, a week about a week um old or a week and a month old uh and the bottom it says mmm food got that right there all right so let's get this into a glass man and see what it looks like smells like and tastes like and every single other half beer so like two so far that i've had <laughs> has blown me away man the flavors are just so different and they're like out there but they're good um that's the main thing they're awesome i love them all right let's see what you is that on my glass is that a chip nope just water okay i thought there was like a chip in my glass but going on to the beer man slightly yellow head very frothy um pour with just slightly over a finger of head not quite a finger of and a half uh, but yeah, just typical white head, off or off white, yellowish. The beer itself is a, uh, it's it's very juice-like. Obviously, it's New England style. Towards the bottom of the glass here is definitely way more yellow and not as hazy, but definitely very very hazy still. Uh, towards the top here of the glass where the bowl is, it is very orange, like extremely orange and extremely hazy. It looks somewhat creamy as well. Let's get the aroma on this, man. Tons and tons and tons of citrus, slight dankness, slight like herbaceous spiciness. Definitely getting some mixture of rock or, uh, rock fruits, or it's not rock fruits, stone fruits. Rock fruits, stone fruits, man. Uh, it's like a mixture of peaches and uh, apricots. And that herbaceous spiciness is definitely coming through. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's like, I guess not, it's... You know how mint is kind of like really strong in aroma? It's like a uh, herb like that, but not mint. Um, an herb that would let off like a spicy aroma, I guess. I don't know what herb that'd be, uh, but it's like that. Let's give it a swirl here. I'm not getting anything different. Hopefully this is still um, good. It's, I mean, five weeks. I, it's kind of old, I guess, but not really. Something's making some really weird noises over here. Interesting, okay, maybe just for tripping out. Yeah, definitely slight dankiness and just like other tropical fruit aromas that I can't really pick up at the moment. And as I'm swirling it, the head is actually getting orange, whereas it was yellow before. Really interesting, man, let me fix my light. Uh, here we go. That's about all I'm getting, so slight dankiness, herbaceous spiciness, um, citrus for sure. And the uh, stone fruits are coming through. Anyways, let's get the uh, let's get the aroma. Let's get the flavor of this. Cheers. Okay. Definitely softer and more pillowy on the palate than expected, but it does have that um, slight carbonation zing which makes for like an interesting, um, I guess maybe not texture, but uh, drinking experience, I suppose. It is definitely a thin beer, which is, I'm okay with that. But the flavors, uh, definitely citrus is there, but much, much more toned down on the palate than it is on the nose. That tropical fruit element actually comes through much stronger than the uh, citrus there. Uh, not so much on the uh, nose, but it does come through on the palate, which I'd rather have the tropical fruit uh, anyways over like a huge citrus bomb, but that's just me. Uh, if you know me, all those other videos, I mentioned citrus, you know, being tired to drink. Uh, so this is good. Citrus is definitely there, which is okay. Uh, I feel like it balances out the, um, the uh, sweetness of the tropical fruits. Um, tasting slight malt, um, 
uh, maltiness here. It could be just a malt base, uh, it, and it could be just brewed to be that way, or it's just like a sign of age on the beer. Very, very, very little bitterness. I'm gonna say overall, this is a very juice balmy beer. Um, definitely a tropical citrus fruit bomb there. Other than that, man, I'm getting, other than like the uh, sweetness of the tropical uh, flavors and the citrus, uh, the zesty citrus that kind of just cuts through that sweetness a little bit, kind of keeps it at bay. Um, not really getting a whole lot of dankness, um, the herbaceous flavor, uh, the spiciness isn't really coming through on the aroma or the uh, palate there. Um, definitely some lingering hoppiness on the uh, palate as I'm speaking. And 7.5% AB, ABV, I'm not, uh, I'm not getting any trace of alcohol at all. Um, yeah, overall I'm gonna say this is your, I'm gonna say not typical IPA, not typical double IPA but there's um, nothing, I guess, special to it compared to like the other two, other half that I've done. Um, yeah, the other two just were like very different and like, you know, it was just nothing I've ever really tasted before, like in an IPA, but this is not a bad beer, man. Definitely, I highly recommend trying out other half, picking this up. Uh, I'm not sure how they do their releases or uh, how many, uh, how often they brew a certain beer, but definitely worth checking them out man they brew damn good beers and this is no exception to that uh anyways this is other halves chopped cheese 7.5 percent abv double ipa if you guys like the video give a thumbs up comment link below subscribe for more videos and as always dream your dreams and believe all things are possible thank you for watching cheers